I love Fig Newtons. Honestly, I can't remember a time that I didn't like Fig Newtons. They always seem to lift my spirits every time I've had one. But where do Fig Newtons come from? How are they made? Who invented them? How long have they been around? And can they really prevent di digestion problems, heart disease, and cancer? Figs are among the oldest fruits known to man. Not only have fig trees witnessed human history, they have also been a part of our history. Buddha found enlightenment under a fig tree. They turn up in Hindu and Greek mythology. Egyptian pharaohs took dried figs to their graves, and Adam and Eve could have eaten from a fig tree in the Garden of Eden. The fig tree has had a place in human imagination, appearing in every major religion, influencing royalty, scientists, artists, and soldiers. Figs have also been recorded to have healing abilities, from the Bible, to Roman philosophers, to physicians. Chimpanzees have even been seen to use fig tree bark and leaves to medicate against bacteria, parasites, and tumors. But sorry, we have no banana today. Surprisingly, both the leaves and natural latex from fig plants can also fight against human cancers and tumors. Figs are high in fiber, calcium, iron, and potassium, and are used in medications and health foods. They are believed to be good for heart ailments, but are most commonly used for their fiber content to aid digestion. Until the late 19th century, many physicians believed that most illnesses were caused by digestion problems, and therefore recommended everyone put fruit and biscuits in their diet. As a result, fig rolls became popular as a common food. Fig rolls are a handmade biscuit or cookie filled with fig paste and were made popular by British immigrants coming to the United States. How did these handmade fig rolls become Nabisco's Fig Newtons? Reach for Nabisco. Partner! Reach for Nabisco. Charles M. Roser, a baker from Philadelphia, sold his fig cookie recipe to the Kennedy Biscuit Company where it was baked in their bakeries the first time in 1891. The cookies were named Newton after the town of Newton, Massachusetts, rather than the physicist Sir Isaac Newton. The inventor, James Henry Mitchell from Florida, created the machine that made it possible to mass-produce Newtons and gave them their iconic shape. His machine worked like a funnel inside a funnel, where the inner funnel contained the fig paste or jam, and the outer funnel contained the cookie dough. This created a long, filled cookie that was then cut into smaller cookies. William Moore of New York bought the Kennedy Biscuit Company and seven other bakeries to start the New York Biscuit Company in 1889. In 1890, Adolphus Green of Chicago merged 40 bakeries to start the American Biscuit Company. Then, in 1898, Moore and Green merged to form the National Biscuit Company, which now owned Roser's Recipe and Mitchell's Machine that would set them on the path to becoming the world-famous Nabisco Company, and the Newton cookies were trademarked as Fig Newtons. Cookie on the outside, fruity on the inside, when they get together, ooh, what a nice bite! In the 1980s, Nabisco started making different fruit varieties of Fig Newtons, mm and in 2012 would drop the fig and now calls them Newtons. You can find recipes online for Fig Newton cookies, and there is even a national Fig Newton Day, which is January 16th. Let them eat fat-free fruit and cake. <laughs> fig Newtons have been around since before the beginning of the 20th century and were most likely enjoyed by your great-great-grandparents. I think I'm going to get two packages. 
The Pony Express has something new. Those swell big Newtons must get the root. And remember only the Bisco Bakes, those golden good big Newtons cakes.